Hey, 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 hey guys, welcome to Chat with KST. I am your girl K, and today we are here for a good time, not a long time. Welcome to our quickie segment of the show where I don't keep you guys for too long. We just jump into the topic, share our thoughts and opinions, and we hit the road, Jack. Don't want to come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't want to come back no more. Anyway, so where have you been? Okay, where have you been when the shots were being fired? And when I do say shots fired, I am talking metaphorically, of course. I am not talking literally. But the girlies have been throwing shots back and forth at each other in songs and stuff like that. So the last time we left off as it relates to the whole Jada Kingdom situation, we left off right about here. Yep, 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 yep. Burna boy, burna boy, burna boy, burna boy, where Stefan Don seemed to have been calling out Jada Kingdom for having an um a entanglement with Mr. Burner Boy that she didn't really like. And Jada Kingdom allegedly responds by saying, girl, I need you to stop throwing shade, but let me know if you really are talking to me. And if you really are talking to me, I am ready and waiting to respond. So for those of you who don't know what happened after that, let me update you guys. And if you guys do need details on the specifics as to what transpired, and I'm sorry if you hear the children in the background, there's nothing I could do about that. But Back to this, if you do want to know the specifics as to how things started between Jada Kingdom and Steph Don, I have the video there for that. You can check it out. It's on the channel or the podcast. You can check out the visuals on YouTube or you can check out the audio on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Now, let's jump into it, right? So we got Burner Boy. And he says, the best Nana that we're in Kingston. And he bought Jada what? A Birkin, right? And this pissed off Stefan Dawn and all of that stuff, right? And we talked about that in the last show. So when Jada answered and responded to Stefan Dawn, Jada is like, who are you talking to, me? Stefan was like, yeah, I'm talking to you. I am talking to you. <laughs> what happened? So Jada said, oh, I mean, I talked to I mean, y'all talk so? Girl, I mean, y'all talk so? So let me play for you guys what happened after that. Let me go back to these clips. So let me just play for you guys again real quick what originally started the beef, just for those of you who are new. Girl full of money like I'm a dove cut Them not to nobody but them a bush shot Fifty man Why you do your body like that? Talk say I just money man can be a slum And from morning you're not even yum But who beggy beggy you not have ambition Do I sell out your so she basically says, look, Jada Kingdom is still in her vagina. She does coke and she does a lot of things and she's she like she has a lot of men and whatever. So Jada Kingdom, I mean, you talk to girl, you talking to me? All right, whatever. So Jada Kingdom releases this. And for, and for copyright reasons, I won't play too long of it because YouTube, they don't play that copyright stuff. So it's just the start of the song, and I want you, I want y'all to hear the start of it again. Go the fuck up and argue with your age group. You is a man clown and I thought it's a truth. The same cocky smile and him is a mama's boy. There's so much in this song, oh my God, that Jada Kingdom dropped. So for those of you who don't know, because I realize that the Americans aren't really understanding what she said. In the beginning of the song, there's a voice note that says, if a girl, if you as an artist, you being an artist um, messing with the girl and you having sex with her or whatnot and she can't help you produce a song about some good good or whatever then it makes no sense to be doing that with her 
not makes no sense to be having her keeping her around. That's what he says in the beginning of the song that I wanted you guys to hear. Then to break down what happens next, Jada Kingdom attaches the same exact voice note, the same exact um verse, the, exact, the piece of the verse where he says, "Buy a Birkin for Jada Kingdom," and then Jada goes into it and says, "Look, no waste man can't give me no children, right?" So they're calling um her baby father um. Stefan Don, baby father, a waste man. And she's also calling her out. She's saying that you talk about how Burner Boy is a mama's boy and how Burner Boy's, you know what, is small. So what are you coming to me fighting me over him for? So let me see how much of the song we got to play. Well, it could be smooth on your musty lulu. Your body will name London dead. So she, she's like, look, you must be delusional. Right. Because you want to fight me with somebody you claim has a little you know what. And your butthole is the London's bed. That's where everybody go and park up in your booty hole. She basically says, look, that's uh, like you're fucked out. Like a lot of dudes um, do what they do to you and. You see what he says? That's the part that got me, that got me into the song that made me knew the song was going to be um great. If you see a all we can give a song. No matter fuck it back, dash away. And then she went in and she ate. And the thing about Jada Kingdom and why Jada Kingdom, and I think a lot of the fans are supporting Jada Kingdom on this one, is because Jada Kingdom, she 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 understood the assignment. She understood the assignment and she delivered. She delivered not only lyrically, but she delivered in terms of her cadence. She delivered in terms of her bars, in terms of her verses, making sure that her verses Lou. She delivered in that she didn't have to be a man on the track. She delivered in that she could gently be a lady and still curse your ass out decently. She delivered. And that's what Jada did. Now, of course, like I said, the girls were firing shots back and forth at each other. So, of course, Steph Don did respond. And this is what Steph Don had to say. Jada mother living at one pitch point. Oh, Jada needs to go take care of her mother. She said Jada's Jada Kingdom's mom lives in a pit and she needs to go and take care of her mother. She said that basically Jada vagina ain't going nowhere because too many men be, been in it. Oh, Jada. But the thing is, they didn't they didn't put too much of the song um of what um Stefan said. But I listened to I listened to all the songs. The original song that Stefan put out where she didn't put an address on it. I listened to Jada Kingdom's song where she did put an address on it. And I also listened to this song. And what I am gonna say is Jada doesn't have to say anything else. Jada done with that. Like she done the battle with that. Like Jada did her thing. She brought what was supposed to brought. Jada understood the assignment and she delivered. She delivered lyrically. She delivered everything, everything, everything about the way that Jada delivered on that. It, the beat that she chose down to the beat that she chose down to the introduction, everything. She thought it out and she did it and she did it in, in, in quick time. Fast, fast, she delivered. So I really do think that Jada Kingdom won this one. And, you know, a lot of other people are trying to step into it. The feud, the Asian dolls and stuff like that. Asian doll is talking about, oh, how Jada Kingdom is a druggie and and how Jada Kingdom have sex with a lot of people and stuff like that. I'm like, you're saying the same thing that um, that Stefan Don said about Jada Kingdom. And Jada Kingdom doesn't seem bothered by it. That's one that's for one. And for two, why don't you, I feel like it's kind of like a little bit attention seeky because if you've been sitting back, Jada K, um, not Jada Kingdom, if you've been sitting back Asian doll and you ain't never said and nothing about Jada Kingdom, you haven't been saying nothing about Jada Kingdom this whole time. And it took for her to get into a battle or into a fight with someone. And then now you want to come with the follow-up for what? 
mind your business. This is not even your fight. If you have an issue with her, you should have been swinging. You should have been called her out. You should have been put an address on. You should have been said something. The fact that she ain't been saying nothing, don't say nothing now because now I don't care to hear it. I don't care what you have to say about Jada Kingdom now because Jada Kingdom is in a battle with Stefflon Don. Agent Doll wanting to be the added bonus that's into this fight. No, it's not your fight. Get out of it. If you want to start another feud, then you go drop a song and let Jada answer your ass in that song. But this Twitter back and this um this Instagram back and forth is, is unnecessary. And I know that Jada, um, Jada is responding to it by saying, Hey, look, Asian doll, you're the one that that been like fucked out you're the one that got a train ran on you you're the one that that got a um that had an overdose you're the one that did this and stuff like that and they are going back and forth on social media but i just feel like at the end of the day like she already won the main battle like who are these little people that she i'm not i'm not saying that asian is a little is a little small fish but i'm saying the battle like the battle is small because the bigger battle was when someone put out a song about you, right? And you had to battle that person in a song. So if Asian really want to enter the the ring, then put out a song about Jada Kingdom and let her answer. That's how we doing it. That's how we giving it up for 2024. If you want to win a battle, then put it in a song and let the fans decide what song is better. So far, so far, two songs made by Stefflon, one made by Jada, and Jada is still winning. So let's let's see how this whole situation continues to unfold. And I want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion. Those of you who are listening to this on YouTube, share your thoughts and comments down below. Who do you think won the battle thus far? Do you think it's Jada Kingdom? Do you think it's um, Stefflon Dawn? And it's all over a man burn a boy can you believe it and that too is something that i feel like jada that's why jada is trying to pay the situation just because she's in a whole new relationship with party partisan found 10 she like y'all don't want to play with jada right now jada got a writer that in her corner that man writes he writes for cardi b you don't want part you don't want to piss off jada too much and then she go ask her boyfriend to go write her a song because if party feeling good and he want to write her a song, y'all going to be, uh -huh. let's not do that. Let's not do that because we, we can't mess with partisan pen. And to bring up party, he does have a song right out with Sexy Red Call Conceited. So check out that song. I was just listening to it on his um his Instagram story. And it was a bop. It was a little vibe. And I'm about to go listen to the whole song now and kind of like um bop out to it. But the song name, I think, is Conceited. Uh, let me just make sure. Let me just go on my Instagram real quick just to plug that there for Party because he has been trying to get his foot wet. So why not, you know, plug his stuff when whatever opportunity um, does presents itself? Yes. Sexy. Sexy Red. Conceited. Featuring Partisan Fountain. So go and check it out, guys. Check it out, check it out, check it out. And that's going to be the end of it. Don't forget to share your thoughts and comments down below if you're listening to this on YouTube. And if you listen to this through the audio podcast, hey, 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 we'll chat next time. Laters.